assailants. I've said it before. I will say it again. And I will keep on saying it. Put the guns down. We need every single member of our community to step forward and hold those who commit these crimes accountable for their actions. But we also need families and support systems to stay connected with the youth in their lives, to know where they are at all times, and enforce curfews 24-7, 365. The city and the division of police cannot raise children. We need families to do that. This time, the city is, or excuse me, uh, victims. Uh, most of our witnesses fled the scene, and we are asking that if anyone has information that was at that park, uh, saw anything, recorded anything on their telephone, on their cell phones, is to provide that information to the Columbus police. Homicide investigators have been working and provide us that information. Uh, Bicentennial Park remains an active crime scene. We have police cadets uh, assisting our crime scene search unit right now by walking through that park and looking for any evidence that we have not discovered. That will continue for some more time. If that proves successful, get these guns out of the hands of children. All these victims were between the age of 14 and 19. These are all kids. And we have an obligation as adults to look out for these kids. And the way we can do that is get these guns off the street and bring these kids into the system so we can properly deal with this and prevent other people from experiencing these same tragedies. With that, I'd like to introduce the director. Be successful in. This is not a problem that can be solved by government alone. Police cannot be expected to be in all places at all times. Police cannot raise our children. It takes each of us, every family, every household, every block to take accountability and to do our part. Parents and grandparents,